So yeah, what a piece of junk. Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop today. We're gonna go through one of these here rotor speed controllers. What for reducing this down from Mach 18? We're gonna take her apart. See if we can't get this Jesus thing to chooch just a wee bit slower. And no, sorry to disappoint. This is not gonna be a pixie wrangling video for you ones and zero type plumbers. Uh, this is a router. What for wood? I know, but they are quite powerful, so maybe it'll work for our metalworking saw as well. I got a feeling this is just uh, not a variac, but a diac with a triac. <laughs> now, first off, what kind of an old coot woodworker thinks this is a good idea? What with the vinyl Chesterfield <laughs> enclosure? I don't, and look at this. You know what that is? A belt loop. You're supposed to stick this on yourself. I, you know, might as well plug yourself into 120 volts. What for lighting you up like a Christmas tree? I don't get it. But anyway, let's take this Jesus thing off and see what we got. I'll spare you the gory pits. Just get right into the meat of her. Don't be shocked at the jump cut. And how the Jesus this comes up. All right. Weird. Why you no come? Oh, there we go. Just need to yell at it. Ta da! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice and beefy anyway. Look at that. Woo hoo! Spared no expense on the soldering iron. We got our half words A part here. And uh, interesting. There's, there's no serviceability because they've gone and soldered everything together after the fact. So they put this in and they solder it. So that's a pain in the ass. But it does increase the skookumness of the rattle factor. At least, uh, you know, it's not going to rattle apart because it's, it's glued, well, liquidized, and then solidified metal. Uh, it, w it won't come apart. Very simple circuit. Just a triac here. This is an ST triac, 40 amps rated. Now, the problem with that is. It's 40 amp rated on the data sheet. This is 20 amp rated. This is actually undersized. Rule of thumb, or at least what I've been led to believe, is that you want to go a quarter of that because it's like working pressure in a hydraulic system. The burst rating of a hose might be 10,000 PSI, might be 12,000 PSI, but you want to reduce that by a factor of 10 for actual working pressure because Having it go up to that burst rating one time is completely different than having it go up to that burst rating a million times. And this thing is going to be ringing noisier than a Ronald McDonald birthday party. And if you have one of these and it crapped out, 95%. I'm going to go out on a limb here. Actually, 99% of the time, it's going to be this blew right out of her. And unfortunately, it's riveted in there. It's not, yeah, there's not a fastener. Like, this is never meant to come apart. Now just a note on this as well, the casement and all that is far more expensive than the actual working guts. This thing, hey, this triac, probably three bucks. The, I bet you the most expensive part of this is this skookum pot. It's a nice big pot, so high wattage potentiometer. That's probably the most expensive part of this device. As I said, this is a very simple circuit and quite rudimentary for triggering. I did the old Sherlock Holmes routine. All we have in here is a 5 kilo ohm high wattage, uh, 5 watt, well, 5 watt resistor. Uh, we got a couple of, looks like uh, 404 diodes. We've got a green poly, polyethylene, I believe, film capacitor and a 57 ohm quarter watt resistor. I mapped it out and we have the simplified schematic. Um, and we'll go through it here. Basically we have AC power. We get the router here. We got all that potentiometer. This encompasses a, an RC circuit, which is resistive capacitive. Essentially, here's the triac here and we have to fire this gate. And what we're doing is on the negative side of the cycle, 
it just goes straight through um, it, it drains off and then on the positive side of the cycle we go it gets blocked by this diode it goes through this resistive element trickles in until this it fills this this capacitor up this is like a bucket full of pixies takes time to fill that bucket up once it overflows it triggers the triac and we get voltage through to the tool here the only problem with this with the two, the thing that that threw me for a loop is the two diodes okay because the way this type of circuit is set up it only fires on the positive side of the AC cycle which doesn't make a sense because you'd only get half the voltage uh, it could be that way the easy way to check is with the oscilloscope so we're gonna set up the oscilloscope and see what's going on but I have a feeling this is not the correct circuit it's actually more like this one where what it's essentially the same thing here's the load here's the resistive element that uh, that throttles the flow of pixies into this capacitor but those two uh, 4001 or 4004 diodes are actually set up like a DIAC and what this does is this triggers once the bucket here fills up this trigger sends a pulse to the gate of the triac to actually get it to fire and what this allows you to do is use it in both directions so you're gonna get the AC voltage on either side of zero well, more than likely it's got to be this type of circuit very rudimentary especially considering this is switching up to 20 amps uh, and you're gonna get like in plumbing if you turn your faucet off right away you get a big fucking water hammer but bang and that's what we're doing here we're turning this off in a hurry so we're gonna get a huge amount of ringing on the output of this which means a huge amount of ringing at the tool which is hard on the insulation and all the components in there so this machine that i bought here this little box 50 bucks you know uh, considering I, I was hoping for something a little less rudimentary uh we'll see now before i plug this in i'd just like to warn you that you will not be able to buy this from a reputable dealer a reputable source you have to buy it online because there's no CSA or UL listing it's in contravention of the CEC the Canadian Electrical Code as well as the NEC the National Electric Code in the States to use any device that is not rated um, so if you burn your house down with this thing make sure you bury it in the backyard as quickly as possible before the insurance adjuster comes around because it's illegal to plug this thing in. I'll let you in on a little secret though. Ladies love the bad boys. Let's plug her in, wah. Okay, we got her plugged in just to a 300 watt light bulb. Just just for a little load. And uh, we'll turn it on here. And there we can see. Perfect. Sinusoidal waveform. Or maybe you can't see. Let's just focus in on that. Oh, wow. Wow, that's total fucking bullshit. We're only getting the positive side. We're not getting any negative. So this full, yeah, that is just bullshit. We're getting 27 volts, root mean square. Here we're getting 70, but we're only on the, the positive side. We're only triggering on the positive side. And there we're up at max. We've saturated, saturated about three quarters of the throw of the pot. Now the most we get out of that is uh, 90 volts. And we're only getting the top side. So it is that crappy trigger circuit. Yeah, this thing's a piece of fucking junk. Wow. So that is the circuit that we have and we're only triggering on the top side of the waveform. If we had the better triggering circuit, because that's a triac, we can do that. If we had the better triggering circuit, you would see this go up and back down. So you get, yeah. 
and there's a very interesting effect because it's only pulsing on the top side we are you can actually see <laughs> you can actually see the pixie dance look at that you see it pulsing and clicking there that's what's happening to your tool and if we look at the scope on what's going on there if you look we're only at 30 Hertz so that triggering circuit isn't getting enough jam it's not getting enough electricity the electrons to fill up that capacitor to actually trigger it at 60 Hertz but if we give it a little bit more it jumps up to 60 Hertz this is the the little pulse of power that you're getting 60 times a second and again I can't believe they're using such a crusty triggering circuit because ideally well not realistically you would design this so you get both sides at least you get some power out of this this thing is only good for very slow speed and low torque applications so that BS in the description that you get full torque at all speeds is yeah total BS absolute total BS and the proof is in the pudding okay now we got to set up on the tool let's have a we look at this under uh, inductive loading so we're all hooked up there's a 60 hertz signal So that's interesting. You can even hear the saw is struggling and, and not running very well. So here we can see where the triac triggers and then all this ringing down below. But you're not getting any voltage on the other side. So you're only getting maximum, maximum half the power even when this is cranked right up to, to all she'll suffer. And I will say that slowing the saw down is hard on it because it doesn't get the cooling that it needs we're just in proof of concept here so yeah that's pretty much no good for nothing and did you hear it there ramp up because it's got no control speed control it doesn't know what it's outputting there's no feedback loop so, yeah, what a piece of junk. Wow. Well, myth busted. The reviews on these are good, but they're junk. Like total fucking junk. They don't even, they don't do what they say they do. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't put this on my router, even if I was a filthy woodworker. Ugh, crusty. Now, knowing what's inside there, we could easily assemble it in a couple hours with uh, five bucks worth of parts. And it'd be twice as good. Because there's just no excuse for that crusty triggering circuit. You're wasting half the waveform. It, it's the mind boggles. And the interesting thing about it is universal motors, of course, will run on DC because they're self-commutating. Now, if we rectify and have a DC bus, that also means that we can give ourselves some turbo boost. Who doesn't want more powerful tools? The gears, they are grinding. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep your slick feeling nice.